Hello again. Okay, this is a follow-on video from the one that I previously made about this uh, water-cooled uh, gaming rig. So, if you recall, in the previous video, uh, I was uh, using the integrated HD630 GPU. So, there weren't any GPUs here, but now they are. So, what I've done um, are a number of things. So, I've, I've installed two EVGA 1080 Ti FTW3 GPUs, and they are connected in serial with this uh, uh, terminal block. And obviously, I've got the uh, original EVGA high bandwidth SLI bridge that I retain. Um, and there's a switch at the bottom that allows me to uh, select between four different colors. So, the other things uh, that I've done are, uh, for example, um, if you remember, there was a sharp kink on this loop that connects the motherboard water block to the CPU block. So I've now solved that by using two 90 degrees angle fitting connectors instead. And to handle the new heat um, dissipation from the GPUs, I've also installed uh, 280, uh, CE280 um, EK radiator, which I believe is the, the best in the 280 uh, centimeters class, meaning it's the thickest one available, I believe. Um, what else have I done? Um, so I've relocated the pump from uh, where it was previously down below. Um, so it was previously mounted here, right above uh, what was a fan uh, below, and the hard drive cage was previously on the right. So I've had to move this to the left. Um, because of the thickness of the new radiator here. So I moved the hard drive cage to the left and I moved the pump up into this vertical position that we can now see. So to keep things tidy, I've used um, angle connectors there as well to connect the G, uh, sorry, the pump to the uh, 280 centimeters radiator. Um, otherwise the angle will be a bit sharp and it will cause a kink in the uh, hose. And likewise here, I've just added a uh, 2 times 90 degrees, sorry, 2 times 45 degrees angle connector here as well, just to um, connect the pump to the uh, reservoir. So this is the input to the pump, which, which is um, the output of the reservoir. And the pump then pushes the coolant out through that uh, short connection there into this 280 centimeters radiator and the coolant then comes out from, from this radiator to this uh, water block. So it's going to cool the secondary GPU first before flowing upwards to the uh, primary GPU. Thereafter, it cools it and sends the coolant into the motherboard's water block and, and then it comes back out into the CPU water block. And then finally, it goes back up into this CE 360 radiator, but as you can see, only two fans are installed because the motherboard water block um, is in the way, so I couldn't get a third fan installed there. Um, and and that's it. And then the loop comes back into the reservoir. Now all fans, apart from the one at the rear and the one inside the PSU itself, are configured to blow inwards. So this one blows out. That's an exhaust fan. This these two fans here sucks air in through the mesh air filter. And likewise, the, the two at the front sucks air in as well through this filter here. So that, I hope, will keep a positive air pressure within the case and prevent dust from entering. So that's the uh, Corsair AX1200i Digital PSU. Um, so I've also installed some cable combs here. And I've done some uh, cable management. Now, I'm not sure what do you think of the uh, cable management that I've done? But um, I think it's the best that I could do uh, based on my, uh, I mean, given my inexperience and my capability. But um, I think all the cables are nicely tucked all the way. So, of course, the other thing I forgot to mention is I've removed the two um, original uh, Corsair uh, fan, which are casing fans that are high airflow fans, and I've replaced them with this EK. Vada, um, I can't remember the model, but it's the second one up 
uh, from the bottom so it's not the 1150 but um, these are high static pressure fans obviously because of the radiator just behind it uh, so far so good um, temperatures on the CPU and GPU are a lot lower than what they were um, with, with the previous setup so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and I'm still um, running some tests and benchmarks but thankfully there are no coolant leaks or anything nasty like that I've got a bit of coolant left in the kitchen that I'm going to uh, just dump into the reservoir because um, it's come back down to the uh, minimum uh, level which it will do once the uh, bubbles in the system start to uh, disappear and um, the air gaps start to reduce but um, all I have left in the kitchen is a very little amount of coolant so I'm just going to put it in rather than uh, throwing it away but I'm thankful that there's still more than sufficient for the uh, system to run properly okay that's it thanks for watching